A flue should be held to the wall by the use of the manufacturer's clips, not designer bricks. They're not the correct clips. Using this banding also isn't the correct clip. So make sure the flue is secured with the correct clips. Holding it together with bits of tape is not very good either. And then some engineers don't even bother with clips at all. Not very good, is it? And here's an ingenious way of extending a flu. Or is it just damn right dangerous? Why would anybody do something like this, even if it is temporary? And here's another dangerous flu, what's just been left temporarily, while the builders have been building an extension. And just to prove this isn't an isolated thing, there's another one where the place is nearly plastered and they've still not had the boiler moved. And there's another one, another builder who couldn't be bothered getting the flu moved before they started work. And on this one, they didn't even bother to move the flu after the conservatory had been completed. And the customer is living with a flu in the conservatory. And whose fault is this that the flu has started to corrode? Is it the engineer who originally fitted the flu? Or is it the customer who's just left it to rot away? That is the question. And I guess whoever fitted this boiler didn't have any sand and cement. But they had plenty of expanding foam. But again, why did the customer not have the hole filled in? Is this a submarine? Or is it actually a boiler flue? Again, that is the question. And is this a missile sticking out the roof? Or is it a boiler flue? And on this one, what came first? The boiler install? Or whoever built the carport? Now it is open on technically two sides at least, what we can see. But um, who then went and rendered the air intake into the wall? Now if a boiler flue is boxed in, it will require inspection hatches. So any engineers servicing the boiler can check and make sure the flue is not leaking. If a boiler flue fluing into your garden is less than two meters from the floor to the bottom of the flue, it will require a terminal guard, whether it's a condensing boiler or a non-condensing boiler.